Hi, my name is George Weiss. I am a senior advisor at Integration Point, where I work with our executive team and our staff to ensure Integration Point is effectively addressing our clients' compliance challenges. I have been directly involved in trade and customs issues over the past five decades, having served as staff director of the House Ways and Means Trade Subcommittee and as Commissioner of Customs earlier in my career. For the past 20 years, I have been working in the private sector, helping clients cope with the challenges of moving goods globally. In my role as senior advisor, I publish a bi-weekly blog called Weiss Wednesday, responding to trade and customs related questions from the trade community. This week's blog responds to an important and timely issue relating to the launching of a U.S. investigation into allegations that China is violating U.S. intellectual property rights. Since this topic is so hot and has potential impact on so many U.S. companies, I decided to share the substance of this week's blog with you through this broadcast. After weeks of speculation, it was announced Monday that President Trump has directed USTR Robert Lighthouser to launch an investigation into allegations that China has violated U.S. intellectual property rights and forced technology transfers from U.S. companies. At the heart of the matter is a Chinese requirement that forces foreign companies to share their technology with China as a condition for allowing them to invest in China. The investigation is being launched under Section 301 of the Trade Act of 1974, which authorizes USTR to investigate any unfair trade practices, including any practice that is, quote, unreasonable or discriminatory and burdens U.S. commerce. If USTR makes an affirmative finding, the President could unilaterally impose corrective measures, including increased tariffs on Chinese imports or other trade penalties. Any remedies imposed must be proportional to the injury suffered. This will be a difficult <laughs> calculation, as you might, might expect. It is expected that the formal investigation will take about a year to complete. The process will include negotiations with China, as well as ongoing consultations with Congress and the business community. It is hoped that the process will result in an agreement with China to correct the problem without the need for the U.S. to impose unilateral sanctions but that clearly will be a difficult task. Section 301 was once a powerful tool for the U.S. to address alleged unfair trade practices, but has rarely been used since the global agreements under the World Trade Organization established a set of rules governing international trade and created a dispute settlement process for resolving disputes. In an early attempt by the United States to use Section 301 in a case with Europe, a WTO dispute settlement panel ruled that the U.S. had violated WTO commitments by pursuing unilateral sanctions instead of using the WTO dispute settlement process. Clearly then, if an agreement with China to resolve this dispute is not worked out and the U.S. imposes unilateral sanctions, it would appear that China could successfully bring a challenge against the United States under the WTO dispute settlement process. Under such a scenario, China would be authorized to retaliate against any sanctions imposed by the United States. The President's actions this week is consistent with his campaign promises to take a tougher stance on protecting U.S. trading interests, particularly with China. It also seems to have bipartisan support in the Congress and a number of supporters in the business community due to growing frustrations with discriminatory Chinese trade practices over the years. It comes at a particularly sensitive time from a security perspective, however due to the growing tension with North Korea over nuclear weapons. President Trump has been pushing China to play a more active role in resolving the North Korea crisis and was recently successful in having China support a UN resolution to impose sanctions on North Korea. It remains to be seen how this trade action will impact China's role moving forward on the North Korea issue. These are indeed interesting and challenging times for global traders. It is too early to predict the outcome of this action. We at Integration Point will be following this investigation closely as it unfolds and keeping our clients informed on any developments impacting their business. It is critical for all companies involved in global trade to stay tuned and stay engaged as this investigation unfolds. Thank you for listening.